What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So we've done a lot of videos in comparison with the Cybertruck, with the new Model 3 refresh or Highlander, whatever you want to call it. One of the best perks of the Cybertruck is its bi-directional charging. A lot of the time what you hear in relation to that is the truck powering the house. There's a whole home power backup system that comes with the foundation series regardless of trim. But today what we want to talk about is how convenient and how useful it can be to actually have the Cybertruck be able to charge another electric vehicle. In this case, we're obviously going to use Tesla to Tesla, but we're going to show you how to use the Cybertruck to charge our Model 3. What we want to do here first, obviously every Cybertruck comes with the mobile connector and we keep ours in the front here. So what you're going to need to do first thing is obviously get that mobile connector out and get the proper connector installed. So again, these come with every Cybertruck. It does look a little different than the traditional mobile connector. This one's all black. And obviously you have both of your adapters that might be needed here. We're gonna use the faster adapter right here, which is gonna be that 1450. And for those of you not familiar with these, all you need to do is just line it up and click it right in. So it's literally as easy as that. So pretty simple. All you're going to want to do, open up your Cybertruck and you're going to be able to utilize those wall outlets right here. And obviously your 1450 is at the bottom here. You're going to plug it right in. Now, there is an extra step. You can do this inside the truck or on your phone and that's to activate the outlets. Just to conserve power, it is not always on. So what I'm gonna do is get our phone out and jump into the controls on the truck. So all you're gonna do in the app is actually click on the outlets and it will power up. You can see it. And by default, this will stay on or off depending on how you want it to be remaining for about 12 hours. So now that that's powered on, you can actually see on the actual charger here, a little green light signaling that it is ready to go. And now all you need to do is stretch this across right to the Model 3. And that will actually start the charge. You can see the blue light is blinking and now it is already charging. And what you'll do, we'll hop right in the Model 3. And yeah, you can see it is charging. Is it gonna charge at the fastest speeds? Obviously not, it's showing quite a bit of time remaining. However, in a pinch, if you need, you can see we're pulling in 32 amps at seven kilowatts. So it is a slower charge, but it is a good one to have in a pinch if you so need. So what do you guys think? Is this a useful feature of the Cybertruck? Would you like to see this come to all of the other Tesla models? Let us know. One of the other good questions that a lot of people had is, can you charge the Cybertruck while the Cybertruck is charging another electric vehicle? Let's show you guys what happens right here. So I'm gonna move over and plug in the Cybertruck to our wall connector here. And what'll happen is it'll actually turn blue and I doubt you can actually hear it, but there's clicking noises coming from the bed. So this is throbbing and pulsing green, right? Signaling it is charging. Well, the issue is that is charging. However, it turns off the outlets in the truck. And as you can see here, there is no more green light. And once you make it over to the actual Model 3, unfortunately it's showing that it is errored signaling it is no longer charging so currently you cannot do both at the same time it is one or the other okay so what do you guys think like i said i think it's a great benefit to have this capability being able to use these outlets to charge another vehicle at a decent rate of charge uh, but let me know what you think hopefully like we said tesla will allow the truck to get charged while charging another vehicle anything was better than what we have now. At least the outlets aren't turning off right off the bat either um, when plugged in. But keep in mind, there's definitely some opportunities here still to come. Comment down below, what do you guys think? Are you interested in this? 
Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.